Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials in Hand. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to write a C program to calculate area of rectangle. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So before directly moving on to the programming part, let's understand the logic that we are going to apply. So first of all, let's write the formula that we need to perform. So what is the formula of area of rectangle? So it's nothing but length into breadth, right? Length times of breadth. Now let's write down stepwise approach that we have to follow in order to solve this. So what is the step one? So step one is first of all, we have to ask the user to enter the length and breadth, right? So step one is to take length and breadth as input, right? Now let's say if we got, okay, uh, here one I missed, yeah. So let's say if we got length and breadth, so what's the next step? So the next step is to calculate the area and store it, right? So uh, it's nothing but step two is nothing but calculate area, right? And finally, we have to print up the things. So this is the overall step that we are going to uh, follow. And this is the formula that we need to calculate. So let's start with it. So as we know that in C program, the very first thing that we have to do is to include the header files that would be required in our program. And the very basic header file is studio.h. So let's include it first of all. Now let's start our main method in order to uh, start writing the program. So as we know that step one is to take input. So what's the input? So it's length and breadth. So first of all, let's declare two variables for one for length and one for breadth. So let's uh, have integer type itself and let's give the name uh, length and breadth it's itself. Now what we have to do, we have to ask the user to enter us. Now we have to ask the user to enter the length and breadth. So let's print it. Let's take input in single line only. Okay, now we know that we have, uh, let's say the user has entered the length and breadth. Now we as a programmer have to store that in these two variables. So that we can perform with help of scanf. So we'll simply write scanf and then modulus d modulus d right and we'll uh, by comma separation we will put the variables inside which we have to keep so if i try to explain this line again then we have declared two variables length and breadth right now we are asking the user to enter the length and breadth now what's happening that the first length that or you can say that the first number that the user is providing we are okay uh, over here we missed a thing ampersand symbol yeah so what the whatever the number the user is providing we are telling to store it means the first number that the user is providing that we are telling to store in the variable length and the second number that the user is providing we are telling it to store in the variable breadth right so as of now we have got those two variables now we have to perform the calculation part so let's uh, declare another variable called area in which we will keep the value of the area right now we'll simply write area is equals to length into breadth right so let's uh, so let's write length firstly now multiplication in c language can be done with help of this asterisk right so we'll simply write into breadth so this is how we can uh, calculate the area now let's print up the things is we will provide modulus of d let's return zero now let's run it and see it working and here you can see that it's asking me to enter the length and breadth so let's keep five and five uh, space separated and boom here you can see that the area of rectangle is 25 let's try out with uh, some other inputs let the first input be 10 and let the second input be 10 again so the output should be or uh, better to give 20, uh, two so the output should be 20 and boom here you can see that the area of rectangle is 20. So this is how we can write a program in C language to find the area of a rectangle uh, wherein we are asking the user to provide us with length and breadth. So this was all about the video. Thank you.